Move, Angus. I've got this. It's okay. I know, you're my big helper. Thanks, buddy. You're the man. <laughs> well, the sun is shining, and the ice is going away, and I think that that was probably the last hurrah for winter here in Missouri. I'm going to count on that. It's February the 12th or so, but usually things start getting better by now. And today is Merck's big graduation day. I think he is going to get his own pen out here and become a real chicken, aren't you? You can become a real chicken? Yeah, because uh, he's getting just too big for that cage now. <laughs> so we've got his own little cage over here. We'll bring him food and water, and he can now join the ranks of all the other chickens. I'd put him in the big pen with the others, but I'm afraid they'd fight, right? Because you're kind of rasty. He bit me ma the other day <laughs> yes you did there's still some shiny ice on the tree limbs they look shiny and glassy but i don't think this camera can pick it up we'll see maybe it can who knows but uh, the ground where the sun has hit it is all melted so we're good except that now we're mud <laughs> uh-oh Scud saw the neighbor's cat. Vroom. Don't worry, he won't hurt it. He just likes chasing them. Okay, Mark. Here we go. Hey, guys, I need somebody to move. Can y'all move, please? Thank you very much. Can you get off of the chicken's house? That would be lovely. Yes, you tell them. Here, Species wants more cat. There's more cat. Hi, Spatsy. <laughs> Spats cat. Because he has spats on his feet. <laughs> out, out of my house. Quit it. No goats allowed. Come on, out. Dudes, come on. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Back, back. Very good backing. Reverse work. Okay. I have got the rickety plastic shells unloaded. You can see this is. <laughs> I can't believe it hasn't just fallen over already because it's been about ready to topple for a while. This is what I want to go out in the garage. I'm waiting for the sun and light to show up to carry it out for me. In the meantime, I'm gonna to try to figure out a way to make some keto bread because I am just desperately in the need of a grilled cheese sandwich. And the only way for me to do that is to make the pork rind bread and uh, see if I can do that. Maybe make some muffins too keto muffins, you know, with the pork rinds and stuff. We have those are all over the internet. You can find recipes for those everywhere. But I'm in such a mess. Oh, but guys, I don't think it's ever going to get any better. I keep putting more over here, but a lot of this is going out there on the shelves. So, eventually I'll be able to get my new red cabinet in here and start cooking properly again. I hope. Got on lots of pain patches. Ow, wrist is re-injured had just barely stopped hurting. Like I said, ignore it, ignore it. If you ignore something long enough, it goes away. And I'll be back if anything exciting happens today. I'm supposed to be getting delivery from Amazon of almonds. I'm dying for some almonds. I wish they would hurry up and deliver them. But I'm glad they didn't come yesterday during that ice. So here we go. Hello, Grandma DC here again. And I just spoke with the son and less liked. He can't come today now. And so now tomorrow's his day off. I know last week it was past the weekend, and then it was another day, and then it was another day, and then he took an extra shift, and now it's another day. And, and I have gotten everything as far as I can get down to the heavy lifting, so I am stuck. I can't even paint anything if I wanted to because I need him to help me lift the heavy cabinet apart and get it off the wall. He said he has tomorrow off. I'm like, well, that's great because... I don't. I don't even have tonight off because I am not taking another night off of work. No way. Jose, no how. Uh, I wouldn't do that to my, my current lead staff and everyone else. Bad enough, I fell and missed two shifts yesterday. Ugh. Probably lost 20 hours of my vacation over that one. That's what they do. They take your vacation whenever you fall or get hurt or something. So... Anyway, that means less vacation this spring, but um, 
I'm going to chillax. I made some keto bread. It's in the oven cooking. I did it with uh, pork rinds and some seeds this time. I thought I'd make it a little heartier and threw in some dried onions because I thought an onion seed bread would be good for making a cheese sandwich, which is my preferred comfort food when things don't go right, and they often don't. So, um, you know, what else is exciting? Oh, I was supposed to get my delivery of almonds today, which I had ordered from Amazon, and I get this thing that says it's undeliverable because of my address. The address that I have used for years with Amazon, it's undeliverable. And I looked on it, and they tried to deliver it FedEx again. Amazon never, ever let FedEx deliver anything to me. They cannot find their Bahoti with both hands, okay? UPS calls me by name. They bring my packages. They're like, ding dong, hi Elise, have a great day. Thank you very much, UPS man. You are awesome. FedEx guy, one time they called and I gave them explicit directions and he managed to find me which is not hard, right? And he snuck up, dropped the package, and ran. I went outside later and found it. I didn't even know he'd been here. Sneaky, sneaky. You know, at least the UPS guy was a little kid that rang the doorbell and ran when he was a kid, you know? I was like, you must have done that a lot. Now you do it for a living. He's funny. I like him. As a general rule, one of them. But I will say this. I contacted through Amazon, and I said, FedEx can never find my house. I'm six-tenths of a mile out. That must be too far. And I said, uh, so here's the directions again. And she said next time they would ship UPS to me. I'm like, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And they said my package would be here later today. I was like, that's fantastic. Good. The guy must still be in the area somewhere. So we'll see. If FedEx still has a hold of it, I probably won't see it until tomorrow, and UPS guy will probably bring it. So, that's my rant about FedEx being inept, and um, and UPS being way better. So, I mean, if it wasn't the fact that I have talked to FedEx personally, and sent them emails personally, and they don't save anything, apparently. Well, I'm trying to find something to watch on TV. I'm going to get me another cup of keto coffee while my bread's baking. And I'm hoping to, I just pretty much got everything done I can do until I get some muscle in here, you know. I've been putting some things in my new toolbox slash kitchen counter cabinet uh, device, toolbox, and organizing it. I'm going to have to get me some little stickers like magnetic ones I can write on so I can put what's in each drawer. I am determined to get organized. See, I'm trying. I'm trying. It'll never work. But I'm trying. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. So, anyway, well, typical Monday, right? Off to work I go. Hi-ho, hi-ho. And I will uh, hope the weather... Ooh, just heard my alarm go off. Means the bread's ready. Let's go check on it. Can you imagine? I, made, I managed to make bread in that mess of a kitchen. It wasn't easy. Those come out pretty. Even in my messy kitchen, I managed to make some bread. I'm so excited. It was about uh, two cups of pork rinds. I threw in some oat fiber, some of that uh, whey powder protein, and a little almond flour. Threw in some sweetener, something to make it raise. In this case, I used baking soda because I couldn't find my baking powder. And uh, then added some uh, cream, some fats. I added a little almond oil this time just to give it some fats. And then put enough water in there to make a batter. And then I baked it at 385 for about uh, 35 minutes. I didn't preheat the oven. I just turned it on 385 and threw the batter in and hit 35 minutes. <laughs> so that's how easy it is to make keto bread, guys. I did put some sunflower seeds in this and topped it with uh, sesame seeds because I wanted some sesame seed bread. I even threw in some onion bits. And... There it is. Will it focus? Can you see it? Is it too dark? I don't know. But I'm thrilled to have some bread back in my life. It's been a while since my kitchen's been such a disaster. We've been trying to get everything done. Oh, I missed that.
This is just what I needed to get back on track. So, I'm going to make me a cheese sandwich for lunch out of that. Thank you all for watching. I don't know when anything's going to happen in the future with the water uh, or even getting the house cleaned up and rearranged. Pop took the um, thing out of the hot water heater, went home to read it. That was a couple of days ago. <laughs> so, back to being the soul of patience. Zen waiting. Eventually he will come and he will fix the water. I know he will. Eventually. Namaste. <laughs> We're just going to be patient, guys. I love you all. Thanks for like, sharing, and subscribing. And I can't wait to get back to doing some keto cooking. And I have had one suggestion for red cabinets and cream-colored walls. I would personally love that the most for redoing the kitchen. But red is hard to paint. And it's not very forgiving. So I'm kind of scared to tackle something that big. Whereas, like, green would probably just go right over. I don't know. What do you think? Love you all. Bye-bye.